Hey guys, welcome to Getting Over It. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts or watch us on YouTube. Hey guys, it's Lucy. And I'm Ellie. And today we are Getting Over It cheating edition yeah my least favorite topic I know. i've got a cup of tea because we're about to spill the tea i feel like i should have had some vodka <laughs> we are gonna get spill the, vodka the tea out get the vodka out so yeah cheating i mean where do you begin where, where do, do you, you begin? begin i mean i feel like we've both been cheated on i've not been cheated oh. on. <laughs> sorry guys that i know of imagine imagine if <laughs> Me, some guys oh, out there like um, one minute i just i knew there was a conversation i needed to have yeah. with you <laughs> But yeah, so you've been cheated on. I've been cheated on. Tell me that story. Well, where do I even start? No, like that, that's what I mean. It's like such a complex thing. I know. Um, basically, I was dating a guy for a long time. It was a serious relationship. And I've told this story before, so I won't go all the way into it. But um, basically, found messages from girls. Yeah, um, found the that's emails. The worst. Yeah, on the Gmail. On the, you know, I did some digging found messages from girls, kind of got over it and thought, you know, it's it's going to be okay, we'll get over it. And then um, ended up finding out that he had physically cheated on me because I got chlamydia. Oh my what God. What a yeah, nice gift. I know, we actually, this yes. was in um, Heartbreak episode. Yes. So if you've not listened to that, make sure you yeah. get it. But yeah, you, finding out you've been cheated on through having an STI must Horrendous. be one of the worst ways to find out that you've been cheated on yeah absolutely it was it was just I think it's just the betrayal and I think for me what did you feel in the moment that you found out you had it because obviously you're probably going through the emotions of like I've got chlamydia yeah but what, what did your head go straight to that or was your head more like oh my god he's cheated on me um it was more that he cheated on me because yeah. I knew like chlamydia I mean you don't want to get it don't go out and search yeah. for chlamydia but you don't go out it's, and search for chlamydia, no guys it's really not that bad like you can yeah. get rid of it really easily yeah. easily like you don't need to you don't need to worry about <laughs> it a <laughs> yeah well try and prevent it but um it was more the fact that he cheated on me yeah. and it was more the fact that I went round to my friend's house after um and I was just like oh my god I can't believe he's done this and I rang him and he was out with his friend and I was like you have given me chlamydia you have cheated yeah. on me and he's just like oh my god you're such a psycho no I haven't like laughing at me saying you must have given me it and I'm like oh, do like you not you. understand I physically have I, impossible that is impossible. impossible yeah obviously I'd, I'd slept with someone after we'd broken up because that's why I went and got tested, but I'd, I'd gone 12 hours after I slept with this person, which is way too soon. So yeah, it would have you never, you it have takes like it. two weeks. So um, it was obviously my ex. Um, awful. And he, st he still denies it to this day. And I just think, just, t do you know what? And the thing is- Why are you denying it then? I know, and he, he did want me back for a long time. And I did love him. So if he would have actually yeah, said to me, honest. do you know what? I'm really sorry. I'm taking full accountability. I did do that. This is who I cheated with. This is what happened. And I it's the biggest mistake the of my thing life. The is with us girls though, we do want to know. And like, we won't rest until we do know. But we want to know every detail. Yeah. And actually, we, is that healthy? We torture ourselves, I think. Like yeah. we want to know everything if, about even them. Even if he'd have gone... Like, let me put this question to you. Like, if he'd have said, okay, it was with this person this night, yeah, I slept with her, would you have, you'd have wanted to know more, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would have wanted, wanted to know, to know like, every single every, position yeah. they did, how That's long I mean. it was, how so many times. Because like, I know you said you would have forgiven him. Like, do you think you can forgive cheating? I don't know. You know, I, I feel like you can, in a way, you can mentally make yourself kind of move past it but at the same time once that trust is broken I just don't actually think you can ever get it back That's and then you're what I mean. always gonna think oh that person isn't trustworthy and that person's gonna cheat on me and yeah. you're just constantly living in fear of it happening again and yeah. that is just a horrendous way to live well that's my so my tolerance on like cheating is what like, zero like, okay zero yeah. tolerance like if I found out you've cheated whether we're 20 years married whether we're six months into a relationship if you've cheated on me that is just the one thing I can't forgive and I can as a person I'm a very loving forgiving person I can forgive a lot yeah so pretty much anything else I could probably like learn to forgive but cheating for me is like a no and it's for that reason of I would just it's more I'd actually be really off if someone cheated at me like after the heartbreak it'd be more like I was happy with you. Like yeah. I've now had to end this and I didn't want to end it, but I would end it 
and I have no tolerance because I couldn't live, I couldn't like myself. It would be the, every time they left or every time you'd be like, oh, are they lying? Oh, like, do I, yeah. you wouldn't 100% trust again. And I would always question, and because I know me as a person, they'd say they were going out with their friends, something that would never have bothered me before, but now I'd be like, and all night I'd be worried about it, it'd ruin my night, I'd cry about it, I'd probably ring up my friends and be messaging them all night, probably be hitting up his phone all night. Yeah. And it would just turn toxic anyway. So it would be more, I couldn't put, with, I would couldn't forgive cheating on the fact of who I would turn into. Yeah. So I'd have to walk away from it, but I'd be fuming. I'd be like, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo. My, uh, <laughs> don't know where yo came from. Like, yo, road man. Um, <laughs> like, I you, think, I, like, I didn't want it to end. Yeah. I feel like that's the worst thing about cheating. It's like, obviously I've never been cheated on, but I can imagine... It's the feeling of like you, you did you went out and did that. You did that. And I was happy with you. Yeah. Like, so oh. I think it's a lot of for me, it's a lot of emotions that I've put to the side. Like yeah. with Let's cheating. Talk so I can about it. tell yeah. me like how you felt. Because obviously I've never felt it. So we need to open up. I honestly felt like just horrendous about myself like mm. I thought that I was ugly or that I wasn't enough or there was things that's wrong with so my body well, or, girls do that they blame themselves that's it and I'm like I'm sat here now and I'm thinking oh my god I feel like I'm gonna cry but it's it's just the way it made me feel at the time I mean I haven't had a serious relationship since that relationship because it just like it hurt me so much yeah. that I had to like switch all of that side of myself off because yeah. I seriously, seriously loved that man yeah. and I would have done anything it's for so him. Sad. And it's the fact that he still went out and betrayed me like that. I think guys don't understand, like, cause I have seen a lot of podcasts as well of guys, like, not minding cheating. And I don't think guys realise how emotionally attached girls get and mm. how they, when we're in love with you, like, we would do anything for you, like, anything. Yeah. Ask us to. I'd have murder for you. I'd probably do it. Like, I don't know if I would. Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. If the police are watching, yeah. she's lying. No, but I'm just saying, like, we would do yeah. anything for you. So I think it's more of, like, the how could, like, the betrayal. Yeah. Is how could you? That That's it. Especially when you, I mean, it's, it's easy to talk from an outsider's perspective. And, like, when yeah. I talk about, people ask me for advice. Like, it's very different to when you're in that situation because, like, we lived together and you spend all of your time together and, and you're like best friends. Best friends. You, you, all of your memories and like most special moments are together. And then it's just the fact that they can do that. And I know yeah. they'll say, well, I was out and I was drunk and I was this and but it No, it should never cross I, your mind. I would have never ever done that to That's him. what I mean. And I think that's where girls come from as well, because it's like and, and I'm not saying girls don't cheat, let's just oh, say yeah. that for for starters, but it, girls that don't cheat and are in love with someone, it's it's just like the I could never have done. So you, you you try and like even think about how they their brain could have worked that way because you're just like my brain would just never have gone there. Like yeah. it, it never would have even. No, exactly, and it, it's the fact as well that I mean, and you'll get this with guys that are super toxic. Like he like he never took accountability. His family, who obviously I knew and and spent a lot of time with, then hated me because he made out to them like it was me because he couldn't face the fact of like of take telling them telling them obviously, that he ruined the relationship. Yeah. You don't know when he cheated, but like, no. do you for people that think they're being cheated on that are listening? Like, could you have maybe pinpointed was there a change in behaviour at any point, or was he just a really good liar? No, honestly, I think he was just. A, a really like I don't know obviously I found the messages from girls and that made me suspicious and then there was yeah. a time when we were on a night out together and I like found him in a club because we were out with our separate friends yeah but if you know what I mean and um I found him in a club like pressed up against this girl behind the bar oh, and like Ellie. and and it's little things like that but that was so opposite to the person that I knew at yeah. home and but the thing is, I tell you the one thing that people say now, and I say this on my TikTok. Um, he used to constantly accuse me 
He would constantly accuse me. I was going to say that. Yeah. Always. And he, he would kick off if I was going out and he'd say. And that's because he was feeling guilty for what he'd done. Yeah. Like this one time I went to the pub with my friend and I, I rarely went out because it was a really toxic relationship. I wasn't perfect. Definitely will put that out there, but I certainly never cheated. Um, and I went out to the pub with my friend and he, um, a, a guy came up and spoke to me, tried to chat me up. Obviously I was not interested, but I was so scared that he was going to find out because I knew that he would just get like so upset about it and so I went home and I told him about it and then he just like went absolutely crazy because this guy had tried to chat me up like he was so jealous and insecure but the reason was because he did that stuff mm. so he knew in his head in a, in a cheater's head they think that everyone will act the same as them so they yeah. can't trust other people because they know that yeah. we shouldn't trust them yeah yeah when you put it like that and I have like always heard about things like that, but obviously hearing from your point of view, mm. I've actually gone through it. Yeah, I feel like they get insecure because they know what they're doing. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's just such a sad thing. It's the fact that ga most guys think they can get away with it. And I know we keep saying guys, that's just because obviously we're talking about yeah, actors, but girls as well, girls yeah. obviously that cheat as well think they can get away with it or this and that. But yeah, it's more like, when a, and stories of girls cheating as well, like I, they always kind of end where she like does feel so guilty and admits it. Whereas guys, they like we'll die with the lie. Either, yeah, they'll die with the lie. They really, I think they convince themselves yeah. that it really wasn't cheating. And they, <laughs> they literally, they somehow do it in their mind where they're not to blame. And, and I don't know how yeah, they do it. But they're not to blame. And it's like, well, uh, sh that girl was all over me. So, well. Yeah, so tell so her to go away. Tell, yeah, say, I've got a girlfriend. Yeah. Step aside. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's just, I don't know. It, it just blows my mind. But I mean, the amount of, I don't know about your perspective on this, but like the amount of guys that I've met in my life, just in general life, and the amount of them that you can tell they're trying to flirt with you are, they would definitely cheat. And oh, that, 100%. That, and, and, and married men, like all these, and you, you get the vibe from them. Oh, and you think, thousand percent. I've been a holiday, I've been a holiday rep. Yeah. People come on holiday. Yeah. They've got, got boyfriends, girlfriends back home. Yeah. I've actually repped a game. It used to be called Mr. and Mrs. You start off by like, I don't know, like it, it gets gradually more like, basically you end up having, like yeah. it's like a it like, like a, a game. game. It gets gradually like <laughs> very wild. And these two people got paired together for the game uh, because they both said that they had boyfriend girlfriend back home. Yeah. So they were just like, oh, we want to take part, but we'll probably stop halfway through because we don't want to be disrespectful. They ended up winning the game, going around the corner and having. That's and I was like, cool. you've got people back home. Yeah. So yeah, like people when they go away. They don't. They think they can just so get away with it. And I feel like that's what starts this whole girls lad holiday thing of yeah. like, it's, like. It's difficult though. Like you want to give your partner space and you want to give them freedom because you can't suffocate them. But at the same time, wh where do you draw the line? Because I think I think you should 100% be able to go on a lad's holiday or a girl's holiday. 100%. But at the same time, the culture is so like they yeah. they do cheat yeah. and what i think so it's, it's like i've been at pool parties abroad yeah like and guys come up to you and then like you like maybe you have got with them and yeah. then you found out later in the day that they've got a girlfriend you're you're like fuming because you're like why am i now this girl exactly or, that's you've cheated on someone with like i don't want to be that girl or they're actually talking to you and one of their mates drops in that they've got like a a wife. A wife? Yeah. No, I've been shot girling once and I was, um, they were like flirting with me when I was selling them the shorts. Um, and one of the guys just went, he's been flirting with you all day, but you know he's married. And I went, oh, where's your wedding ring? One of his mates literally went, yeah, he put it in his pocket before I came in here. I just think it's disgusting. So that's like, to me, it's like you've come in with the intention to cheat. Yeah. You've took your wedding ring off. Yeah. I honestly, the minute I didn't go back, like they were buying shorts as well, but I thought, I'm not going back to that table. Like the pure no. principle, I was like, you're disgusting. That's the thing, it's just, I don't know, they just don't seem to have, um, mm. I say they, obviously it's not all guys, we know that, but the ones that do, they, they don't have shame with it. And I, I feel- I think it's the no shame that gets me the most. Yeah. When, it, when I've seen it out and about. Yeah. Um, I am totally for, like, you never know what you'll do until you're in that situation. I've always said I would never forgive cheating, but if you're really in love with someone, they're it's so hard. apologetic and all of this, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, the, the no shame thing, Oh yeah. my god! But yeah. then they'd be they'd be like begging on their knees, crying if like that woman did actually 
decide to leave. Yeah. It's like, we did it with no shame, mate. Exactly. It's only because you've been found out. Found out. That you're, that you're upset. But I don't know. It's it's People are so complicated, aren't they? I feel like it's so different as well for guys and girls to cheat. Like, I feel like when guys cheat, it's very much like in the culture of like, oh, yeah, well, we're lads and we're yeah. going to just... Oh, yeah girl because mm. I'm going to show my mates that I can get this girl whereas with girls like I feel like if we cheat there's often I think if a girl's cheating in my opinion they're out of love they're not in yeah. love with it's, it's, it's an emotional thing so I can understand why that maybe hits and hurts I'm not going to say hurts guys more because cheating hurts both ways yeah but I can understand like if a guy finds out that his girl's cheated it's the relationship's over. Yeah, like it's she, been over before. Whereas I feel like when a girl finds out a guy's cheated, the girl's still very much in the relationship. They had no yeah. idea it was gonna come. So then there could maybe it could maybe be saved. Yeah. But it does annoy me a little bit how like men are very much like, oh, if she cheats on me or whatever, but then it's kind of like the same men that would cheat but and wanna be forgiven. Yeah. That annoys me. It's like, don't have the double standard. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to cheat and she cheats, you're just as bad as each other. Don't, like, turn it around that she's, like, some awful person. Yeah, I, d I do think, even though, obviously, at the start, I was like, you know, I maybe would have taken my ex back if he would have taken accountability, but I probably wouldn't now. And the thing is, like, it does just become such mm. a toxic relationship. And then if one of you cheats and you f one of you forgives the other person, then, really, that other person, then I would be scared they would cheat because it's like they need to get even. Mm. you know well it's kind of a thing of like i'm a big believer in if you if you've chosen to forgive yeah you can't bring it up again yeah like but i feel like it just would like that. when you get into arguments it just come up and yeah. be like well you cheated on me and it's like i just feel like it, it'd just never be the same again it would always come up and it's like i feel like if you are if you do move forward it has to be a clean slate yeah like a hundred percent so like obviously from your perspective, obviously, I know you said, like, you kind of shut that side off from you. Do you feel like it's the cheating that makes you not want to go there with guys now? Or do you think you'd ever get, like, the same trust in someone again? I, I honestly don't think I could ever trust anyone again. Really? No, and because... That's, see, that's off. I never that's want so this happen sad. to me. <laughs> I know, it's because when, when you're faced with a situation where the person that, like I say, is your best friend, does that to you... Yeah. It just makes you question every single person. Yeah. It just makes you question everything. Yeah. It um, just makes you think, yeah, if they could do that to me, why couldn't you yeah. do that to me? So, I mean, I am, like, healed and in a way, but I do keep myself to myself. I don't yeah. get in serious relationships because it's scary. It's scary once you've it's had that It's really scary. To you. Even, like, what we said in the heartbreak episode, like, even just when you're hurt from heartbreak, it's hard to get back in there. So I can't even imagine, like, that you've been cheated on. And yeah. then you need to get back in the dating pool and just tr trust a guy. And it's like, well, how can I trust you? So, yeah, it is It is like a really, a really weird thing. I've never been cheated on, mm. <laughs> knowingly. But um, <laughs> I have been the other girl. Okay. I've been the other woman. And I felt horrible about it mm. me and the girl are actually really good friends now as okay. well so it's actually ha got a happy Tell ending us the story so it was this um my first season in greece this barman i mean should have known anyway yeah barman in greece red flag red flag <laughs> um so uh we were like we always gave each other the eye in the club and things like that he found me on facebook it's back in the day of facebook messages nice. <laughs> um so um yeah we just started messaging on facebook uh, he invited me out for a date. Um, and Mali is a really small town. Everyone knows everyone's mm -hmm. business. Like Greek, English worker in the summer, you know, like everyone's yeah. about. So even if you're with someone, someone's seen you, they tell that everything gets back to everyone. So we actually like went out with me publicly. So I was like, one well, obviously as well at this point, there was no thing about another girl. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, 100% trust him he's Greek as well he doesn't want he knows people are going to know his business yeah so we have a really good date and then I hear things that he's got this like psycho ex-girlfriend who's doing a season as well and she's out in the summer and I keep hearing things about her like oh she's a psycho she's a psycho she's a psycho and a lot of people were saying this but I feel like it was all fueled from him was it me <laughs> was it you <laughs> um and one day so this was after the first date with this guy um she and her friends came in the restaurant and sat on a table next to me and my friends and she was bitching about some girl that her boyfriend was seeing 
Okay. And I sat there so uncomfortable the whole time thinking like, is this me? But then in my head, because he'd done it so publicly and I'd heard so many things about how there were exes and then even I heard her drop a few like, well, we're kind of in between things. and So in, so I went back to him and was like, look, if you've actually got something going on with someone, I want nothing to do yeah. with it. And he literally was like, I haven't, like, I promise you, like, she's a psycho. She thinks we're together and we're not. Like, I broke okay. it off like a month ago. Like Red flag. But yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, I think it laid low a little bit. But he asked me out again and he brought his friend. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not I'm not gonna be out with his friend and him and he's got a girlfriend, you know what I yeah. mean? Like so everything added up and then he, he would like started seeing me a bit more. I started to really like him. But like no. I said, we were doing pu things publicly. Why would I have thought that bearing in mind she lived in the same in Malia, it's very small. Um, and then one day he was just being really weird. I was like, oh, come round to mine. And he was like, just being really weird because he was supposed to come, but he was like, oh, I can't because blah, 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 all this. Anyway, found out that later he was supposed to be on a date with her that night. That's then we nice. came round. He had to me, right? And then found out when it all went down, he had to us both on the same night. You're joking. Disgusting. That's gross, yeah. So yeah, one night I'm just out in the club. She's obviously got a night off. She walks into the same club as me and she's like, can I talk to you? And I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Because he'd been off that day as well, mm -hmm. being like, oh, I need like, my psycho ex is like, but whatever. So she, and I just thought, oh my God, she's going to slap me around the face. And I was yeah. like, she's going to, she, I'm, I'm going to die. I was like, all I've heard is that she's a <laughs> psycho. Um, And she just went, you're, you're seeing my boyfriend. And I literally just, didn't know what to say because I was just like, she's using the word boyfriend. I've literally been seeing this guy and sleeping with this guy for about a month. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like a few days. Yeah, slight problem. Um, so I was like, I was like, um, but then you know when you're like, I didn't know whether to believe her. Yeah. But then I am a girl's girl, and why would she come up to me and like? Yeah. And to be fair to her, she wasn't trying to be aggressive. She was just like showing me messages and things. I like kind of lost my head and just went home. I went, I can't yeah. take this information in right now. I'm off home. Messaged him. We met up the next day, and he literally and because I'd had loads of messages and like screenshots of their messages okay. of her, so everything matched up that she had said. Oh when God. I woke up the next day, obviously I was devastated. I was crying. I was like heartbroken. <sighs> met um, met up with him, and this is where the no shame thing comes in. He literally was just. I was like, you're disgusting. Mm -hmm. Like you've dragged me along. I said from the very beginning if you've got something going on with someone I want nothing to do with it I don't want to be that girl yeah and he was like he literally just went he didn't say sorry once he wasn't bothered about my feelings he literally just went can you just lie to her and say that we didn't do anything because <gasps> I am in love like I want to be with her the audacity and I was like wow you've come here not even said sorry to me I was like no. I had feelings for yeah. you and you're asking me to lie to this girl so that you can still be with her Honestly, I can't cope. I was like, no f way. I was like, I'm not going to go up to her in the street mm -hmm. and like just start dishing all the dirt. But if she comes to me and wants all the information, mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um. And then, yeah, we are now like we spoke our stories. She actually ended up staying with him for a year. Um, but Aww. I think it was just toxic anyway. And she was really yeah, in love with him. Thing. And he continued to cheat on her. Yeah. Um, but now we're like really good friends and we told each other our stories and all the like how we all crossed and we actually became good friends out of it. But yeah, I mean, the guilt you feel in that situation. Yeah. Like from the upbeat, the other side of it. But then also, it was just so weird. I remember being on the phone to my mum because I was like, I feel half so guilty, but half like kind of half because half I liked because him. You were played as well. I was like, I liked him, so I feel yeah. like I I wasn't cheated on because obviously it was like his girlfriend. Yeah, but, but you, really, you it was like I was yeah played. Yeah, and you um, to mess with, and he still never apologized, never ever apologized, and he was just had no shame about it. I just think that whenever a man tells you. My ex is a side. Oh, note. yeah. Obviously, now that I was 18 is, at yeah, the time. I've learned that my is lesson. The biggest red flag because why are they crazy? Why are they crazy? Brad? Yeah, because of you. Because of you. Because of you. Crazy. And exactly. as well, is she crazy or are you, do you know what I mean? Is yeah. she crazy or are you yeah. just saying she's a psycho? Yeah, exactly. No, no. I, I 100% get that. I've had a situation myself where it's been a complicated, mm. complicated situation where, you know, you're in the dark a little bit and then, yeah. Just not good, but... No. Um, it's not the one. <laughs> Guys, never be the other woman. <laughs> no. Never be the other woman. If something doesn't add up, it doesn't yeah, add up. If, if they're telling you something and it sounds... Mm, it's I sound stupid true. telling that story now, but... But in the moment... In the moment, realize. like, you... Everything added up to what he was saying. Yeah. Like, everything added up. And he was literally like, I was going... So then, 
that girl actually um, fell out with his mates big time because she was like, why have you let him date another girl? You know we're together. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. when I'm hanging out with him and his mates, why would I think he had a girlfriend? Yeah. Man. Why did he just drop it on you? Yeah, though, like? it's crazy. Like, taking me all these places. Yeah. When you've got a girl. You've come crazy. round to mine, had a quickie, whilst <laughs> your girlfriend's actually waiting for you to nice. pick her up for a date. Honestly, this is what... Disgusting. This is what puts me off guys for life. It really does. It well, it was, af- it was after that that I thought something's up here because yeah. it's never just like got like come and gone. Whenever you have got that intuition that something mm. isn't right, there's a reason we have that and no. it's because they're lying. It's not the one. No. Not the one. Okay, so in terms of cheating, okay, we've done like the serious stories now. Yeah. I want to get into like a, what we consider as cheating. Okay. Because I don't know about you, but I think social media's blurred the lines a little bit. I feel like back in the day, back when our mum and dads were getting together... It was if you shagged Wendy next door. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> if you shagged him, yeah, okay, you cheated. Like yeah. that. But now... There's so much more. There's so much. It, it's it's like detailed. Yes. Like, there's a lot to... So I'm going to like yeah. say a few things. Okay. And I need you to say if it's cheating or not cheating. <laughs> okay. I feel like the listeners can get involved Thing as is, well with this. I'm crazy though, so I'd be like, yes, yes, Okay. Yes. <laughs> Let's just go straight into... Okay. He likes another girl's photo. He likes girls' photos. Is he cheating? This depends. Okay. Okay, very quickly. This depends on whether, if he's friends with the girl, as in they're close friends, Mm. no. If it's his cousin, no. (laughs) Maybe even if it's his third cousin. (laughs) That's a bit sketchy. But if it is a girl that he doesn't know, and by he doesn't know, I mean he maybe sees on a night out sometimes, like they live in the same town, but they don't really know each other. Or it's, even if it's like a, an Instagram model girl, I just think it's that's not right because the only reason, if that's not your friend, you know, mm-hmm. if you're in a relationship, that's not your friend whose picture you're liking, then the only reason you are liking that girl's picture yeah. is to show her that you're interested, in my yeah. opinion. But what do you yeah. think? For me, it's not cheating. Yeah. Because I always look at it at, and whatever situation I go into with a guy, like, I wouldn't do, I don't do what I wouldn't want. No, what am I saying? <laughs> if I would do it. Yes. So I, and I, there is guys on my social media that I've just, <laughs> I don't know why I follow them. Like, just like, whether they're like influencer guys yeah. or I've met them at events and this and that. So it's like, I don't really know them. But I will probably like their photo if they've posted something. So I, if if they're doing that, yeah. vice versa, I can't kick off. I know what you mean. See, I wouldn't. And I I just think, I don't know. It's I not nice it's, to see. No, especially then you overanalyze it. And, and I think, obviously, we're coming from very different perspectives because mm. you've not been cheated on. I yeah. have. So I obviously have those trust issues anyway. Yeah. I have things that I've looked at that maybe my ex has done and I've been like, oh, well, he did that and then he cheated. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's like two different perspectives on yeah. it. But... Okay. I think it's an iffy Another one. thing. If he reacts to girls' stories, is he cheating? Yes. Like, not messaging. <laughs> not messaging. He's just, like, sending, like, the fire emoji or the hearts yeah. emoji. Yeah, he's cheating. Yeah, as, as long as... Well, I do think, yeah, if I, if it's not your girlfriend, why are you sending fire emoji? Yeah, yeah. And if it's not someone, like, if, they, if they're if actually friends... Yeah. Whatever support, like, your friends that yeah, 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 yeah. But if you don't know the girl, yeah. And, I mean, obviously, it's not cheating because he's... They're not obviously then getting with him, but it's definitely on the path towards cheating. In it's my on. Opinion. I think that's the for me. I, I would, I would bring that up as concern to the yeah. guy I was with. I wouldn't be like, "Oh, you're cheating," but I would be like you say. I think that's the beginning of cheating because then, oh, once you've done that a few times, he's sliding in the DMs. Yeah, exactly. Because do you think sliding in someone's DM is cheating? Yes. Like even if it's just like a. Oh, hey. Yeah. Like, yeah, cheat him. <laughs> I feel like, uh, to me, I actually, like, I would say, okay, you're starting yeah, to cheat then. Because Sliding I, in someone's DMs, you're cheating. You're doing that to start a conversation. Why yeah. do you want to start a conversation? Your you mind is already model? there to yeah. be like, you want to talk to them. Yeah, I just I just think it's, why, there's a reason for people do anything. And I think, what is your reason for doing that? Yeah. There's a reason you've done it. And it's because you want to instigate a conversation. Yeah, you want to instigate right. a conversation. You're in a relationship. You want to just play the little like, oh, is the grass greener? Yeah. Mm, yeah. It's for, not- I would say to, for <laughs> me, that is like kind of cheating. Yeah. Okay. So having a girl best friend, because some girls actually do borderline. It's not cheating, but some girls are very mm, about this. Like this, this, I don't know because... I don't, I don't think it's something I've actually experienced personally, but in my 
I don't, guys and girls can be friends. You'd have to assess the relationship because I think a lot of the time, yeah. girls, us girls, we romanticize. So if I've got a guy best friend, so I had a guy best friend at like school and I was in love with that. Oh, friend. really? Yeah. And I think often girls will be into the guy at least. Even if the guy so I've, I've had a couple of like guy best friends yeah. and both have ended because <laughs> I think they weren't me. <laughs> yeah, okay. But, so I, because I'm always like, girls and guys can be best friends because I've had it. And I'm like, I never had feelings for them. But then people are always like, yeah, but they then they will have had the I, feelings I, for you. Mm-hmm. And to be fair, like w- one of my closest, closest guy best mates, it end, like the friendship ended because he got a girlfriend. She was basically like, no, like yeah. you two are t- like too close. I think in a guy girl relationship, there's always going to be one person that's even just got a little bit of an attraction there. And I think that's... I, I, I wouldn't want to make them stop being friends with them, but I yeah. probably wouldn't pursue a relationship with them. I think it's about how the guy makes you feel. So say if I had like, um, like a boy, if I had a boyfriend <laughs> um, and you were like his girl best mate, yeah. it's when they introduce, how does he make you feel? Is he going straight over to you being like, oh yeah. my God, hey, and hugging you and not introducing you first? Or it, So I feel like it's about how the guy deals with the situation yeah. and deals with the Definitely. best friend. That is, that is a good point. Um, okay, uh, let's go again. Oh, dancing with someone in the club. So like you've been sent a video and he's dancing with a girl in the club. If they're like grinding up on each other, yeah, that's cheating. She might be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Um, I definitely wouldn't be happy. No. If they're but, doing the robot. But it's not cheating. Or the Macarena, then, you know, Macarena away. But <sighs> yeah, grind, I don't know. I'm trying other, to think if they're his, grinding on his each other. Willie is pressed into her bottom. Yeah. That's that's the fact of it. Grinding on each other. I, I, that's cheating. That is cheating. Yeah, me. it is borderline cheating. Yeah, get out of my house. It is. No, to be <laughs> fair, I'll give you that one. Okay. Um, having a sex dream about someone else. They've had a sex dream about someone else. Is it cheating? <laughs> no, it's not cheating. I feel like you can't help what you dream about. No, but... I don't actually think that's cheating, but what I would be concerned about is what, like... Why? But then I've had some very weird dreams before, and yeah. it's only because... It's not even that you've been thinking about them before. It's just that, like, someone said their name or this and that, and then they appear in they your appear dream. They appear as the character. I, so I, I that's not cheating. No, but I think, yeah, there's maybe maybe don't tell your partner. That. Yeah, I do think don't, that. Just don't tell them. There's all about being head. honest with each other, yeah, but, like, that. if you have had a about someone else I don't need to know like I just wouldn't want to know no because you put this worry in my head that I just didn't need oh yeah um okay watching like your partner what, what is it cheating no yeah no, I, I I'm all for that um I think definitely I think that's actually healthy because yeah because then they can express themselves sexually and get whatever it desires they've got yeah. out of their systems then they're not going to go cheat if that's what's yeah. in their head but I mean I wasn't always like that like in like relationships when I've been younger I've been like oh my god that's so bad you shouldn't be doing that but yeah. now I've grown up and matured and it's, it's definitely not it's definitely healthy yeah no I like um I was kind of the same thing when I was younger it was a bit like well why wouldn't you want to do it with me yes but yeah. like girls and guys can both watch exactly. it's like fine you're not cheating on them you no. just fancied a bit of- yeah <laughs> <laughs> just fancied a bit of- on just it's not cheating nature. um I think that's that's it. So we've gone through what we think cheating is and cheating isn't. I mean, yeah, for me, obviously, like the standard, like kissing someone, it's cheating. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> like if you're in bed with another, oh, what if it, What about sharing a bed? Like if they've not done anything, but they've shared a bed. Mm, it depends on the circumstance. Like if, if they literally had to share the bed, like someone, you know, mm. glued them to the bed and said, you can't move, then yeah, yeah all right. But if they're willingly getting into a bed with another girl yeah. then no I'm not happy about that I not think happy it's mate. about respect for your partner as well yeah shall we move on to people's stories because we have got some juicy cheating okay, stories okay you go first then let's I'm have excited. a little look um let's talk about the obvious because I did have a few people uh message this so like saying that their ex cheated on um on me with my best friend Oh my God. I've had a few people re- write this in. So she said, my ex uh, cheated on me with my so-called best friend, who obviously isn't my friend now, double whammy. Uh, the audacity to cheat, but then the yeah. audacity to cheat with the best mate. But then it's just like, why are you fancy my boyfriend? Like, it's actually, yeah. like you say, the double whammy. Like, that's I'm just as annoyed at the girl as I am the absolutely. boy. Absolutely. I think that's so wrong as well, because like, even if my best friend was dating Brad Pitt and... 
I, I, I just couldn't possibly let my mind go there. I would never, ever be attracted to them because it's just not right. That no. That is an... You know, you've cut ties with two terrible people there. Two terrible people. I have honest hand on heart never fancied the guy that my a guy that my friend's into. No. no. And I feel like as well, just the minute your friend goes, I'm into him. Even if I like I just shut it off because I'm like, well, she said she's into him. Yeah. Like, she she got dibs. Exactly. The rule of dibs. That's that's just the rule of friendship and and yeah, um, no, I that she did well to to lose those no lose those losers lose them okay <laughs> um my baby daddy oh baby daddy baby that's daddy. always the drama i feel like baby daddy red flag it's just a red yes. flag um my baby daddy was messaging other girls and sending pics to other girls nice. whilst i was pregnant oh my god with his child right slept with someone else and came home and told me he stayed at a mate's told me to go through his phone i saw him cheating um, he got mad at me. What? Well, he got mad at me. He's an absolute serial cheater. So he's actually even gone, check my phone. Check my phone. She's found yeah. it all. Yeah. What? In what mind? I guess he was hoping that she would say, oh no, don't worry, it's okay. You like, but that at least so hide bad. the shit. If you're going to cheat, do it well. <laughs> the amount of guys that cheat on their pregnant Pregnant. Girlfriend. That's the one oh, I can never get so over. Well, how can you do that? There's people that cheat like just after the baby's been born. I just think I just think it's supposed to be your most your magical soul? time yeah. of your life. It's supposed to be like you're both yeah. supposed to be so excited about it. Yeah, it's disgusting. And when you've got kids as well, I had the weirdest thing happen to me the other day. Um, I had this 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 message, right? I got this message at um this just links in. I got this message at about one in the morning on a Sunday. So obviously everyone's been drinking. I hadn't, but it's it's a Saturday night. And it says, I hope he's worth it. And I'm like, what is this? what is this? And so I reply and I say, Who is this? Because I thought, oh, is this one of my exes that's come yeah. back and he's jealous? I was like, <laughs> And then um she put, oh, um, something like you you know who it is, um, hope he was worth it. He's cheating scum, paying for your Chinese with the hundred pounds I got him, and he's got two kids at home. And she sent me a video of a man in bed. Fuck off. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? Because I have not so much as breathed near a man in months. I, I've been staying away from them like the plague. She's been on the stalk and maybe thought like, oh, like they were in the same location yeah. or No, no, no. So basically all she did was um I actually found out who it was. It was someone that I knew. Um, and she texted the wrong Ellie. No, I'm she dead. The wrong Ellie, and she messaged me two days later saying I've texted the wrong Ellie, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like it was just the craziest thing. I, I, I'm be like, now I'm involved yeah. in the tea. Give no, me, give me the responses. I, I, I looked at that and I just thought, "Oh my god, that man has two kids at home. He's got a loving it's girlfriend, disgusting. and he's obviously been out cheating." And it just made me. I'm just realize. under the impression if I ever actually got the urge to to want to get with someone else when I was with someone, yeah, I would be like. My relationship's over because I'm. I want to cheat. Yeah, and I would tell them. Yeah, I just. I. I would. It's a conversation to have. No one wants to have the conversation. Exactly. I just don't think I could do it knowing that I was with someone. I think just if you've got that temptation, mm. there's nothing wrong with feelings changing. There's nothing wrong with maybe you do fall out of love with someone. Yeah, really but come and talk but, to me first yeah. and say, you know what? I think I'm falling out of love with you. Exactly. I've had the urge to like. You know, I've been out and wanted to cheat. I'd respect someone so much more for yeah, that. Yeah, it, it'd hurt and I'd cry oh, for a few it'd weeks. It'd hurt but like... But at least you're not going to cheat. And exactly. Then, and you Don't know. go and ruin my trust for life. No. Well, I had this girl go message on. me, which I think this is brilliant personally. She said, um, it's very short, but short and sweet, but my boyfriend at the time cheated on me with my best mate. Another best mate cheating. This best is a what? recurring pattern. You're choosing the wrong friend. Yeah. So I went and slept with his best mate. And she said it happened more than once, which no. I think is wonderful. I kind of love the confidence in that. Yeah. Just like, well, if you're going to go, go sleep on me with my best mate, I'm going to go sleep with your best I mate. Know, I love the pettiness. I think that's brilliant. I, that is pettiness level like 1000 and I'm here for it. Yeah, absolutely. I just think go for it. I think that's the best way. Like if a guy has the audacity to cheat on you. Go go and sleep with someone sh better shag looking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, shag shag go shag, shag his, his dad. Brother, go shag everyone in his family every so he can't escape. Granddad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sleep with them Be all. Be petty. Yeah. 
That is that is the message that I want everyone to take away. From take it you. away. Someone cheats on you, go be petty and do it with someone. Oh, like yeah, I just think as well, like go yeah, either a family member or like go get with a blue tick just to really <laughs> them off. <laughs> Go get with oh, go get with the guy that they were always worried about. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've got one more. Okay. Um, let's so so my first relationship, he stole eight grand. She just dropped that in oh, there. That's nice. He stole eight grand, then decided to cheat on me with his auntie. Well, his auntie. His auntie. His aunt. Oh, oh, it's quite a bit. So a bit of incest. <laughs> no, it? and then on top of that. Oh no! Wait. Oh, this is it. She sent me two stories. Okay, okay. no. So the first okay. story, he's cheated on me with his auntie. Nice. Okay. Right. Incestual. Is, is this is this disgusting? I'm if this is a like a auntie that's related to him or like his mum's friend. Yeah. Girls. I really hope it's the I second really option. Hope so as well, I hope he's adopted. Yeah. yeah. Cause that, wrong, that's though. like. Still I mean, there's right. cheating and then there's just like weird. Yeah, we're taking it too far. Yeah, t- you took it too far. Yeah. Like, <laughs> No, like, no. Um, the second one, so say he cheated on me. So this has happened to the same girl to these two different occasions. Oh That's God, really sad. Girl, I'm um, he cheated on me with two girls, got them both pregnant in the space of two months. So he's cheated <gasps> and got them both pregnant. <laughs> What a busy... <sighs> you can't hide that, do you know what I mean? There's no. lying about cheating, but the minute you get someone pregnant, you can't, how do you, how do you lie and get out of that? That is horrendous. Got both of them. Not, well, at least the the siblings can have a close relationship. I imagine, nice but then the two girls that got pregnant, they probably wouldn't have even known that he was. No. So like, then they now are like, well, he cheated on me with her. Like this three way thing going yeah, on. Yeah, you got to stop spreading that. Spread and then you're the girl that actually is in love with him, and you're like, well, and I didn't even get your baby. But then to be fair, I want one his baby. Yeah, that's what that? I mean. It's a lucky no, escape. Thank you. You enjoy your two kids. I'm off to go have fun. Yeah, See I'm ya. off to go travel. I'm off to a beefer. See yeah. you later. <laughs> enjoy being a dad. To be fair, it's kind of karma. Yeah. I do think, yeah, if you cheat on someone and you get a girl pregnant, karma, mate. Absolutely. Well, I don't well, know. Well, <laughs> is it? I don't know. I like, I kind of went with that then and now I've said it out loud. I'm, I'm thinking, like, um, um, well, babies are a blessing. No, um, babies are a blessing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's because our is like. I got really on the hate in men then. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you. Um, we took it too far. We, 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 we retract that last statement. We did. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I feel like this has been wonderful. wonderful. And I, I, I feel like I hope that anyone that thinks yeah. that, they're e- that they're ex, well, it'll be an ex. I it'll be an ex. If anyone thinks that their boyfriend might be cheating, then hopefully we've given get some out telltale there. signs. And yeah. yeah, definitely get out. Just get out. It never gets better. That's the thing. Always trust your gut as well. Always. Yeah. But yeah, if you do forgive. It's okay. Yeah, I feel like give them one chance if you really want to. And mm. then if they give you a, what is it Liam Rhyme says? Fool me once, shame shame on you. Fool me twice, twice. shame on me. Shame on me. Is it Liam oh. Rhyme? I don't know. Deep. But yeah, Deep. that's what I think. But yeah. Definitely. And um, speaking of the like sleeping with your best mate, well, we are doing next episode... Top getting over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> getting, over, <laughs> getting over it. Toxic friendship. <laughs> We're really coordinated today. We're really yeah, coordinated. Yeah, so next episode, we're doing toxic friendships, guys. So, yeah, make sure you've got on socials, mm-hmm. getting over it pod on Instagram and TikTok. But, yeah, I've really enjoyed this one. I've loved it. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>